What's up, guys? This is Showtime's Fight Forum. You already know this is your boy Showtime. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and all that good stuff. And as always, thank you for watching. So let's get right into the nitty gritty. Today's conversation is going to be a pretty fun one. I like. I'm, I, I'm gonna enjoy it. Which will be who is gonna lead 2022 UFC champion still and still by the end of the year. It is February. It's a brand new year. And, um, you know, as we, we already know, belts always change hands. Somebody gonna lose. All right. And to be honest with you, with this list, I'm actually probably gonna have more people losing their belts this year than people that are gonna keep their belts, which makes for a very fun year. So I'm gonna work my way up the ladder. I'm gonna start off with women and then I'm gonna end with the men. I'm gonna go from light, lightest to heaviest and we're gonna go from there. All right. So first belt. That we're gonna go, um, go well, not the first belt, the first champion that we're gonna go through is Rose Nami Yunus. Now, she is going to have, I don't honestly think she's gonna be as active this year. I think she might have two fights this year. And to be honest, it's gonna, well, one, we already know it's gonna be Carla. And the second one, I don't know, man, there's good, there's a, you got Rodriguez, is, you know, in the back. You still possibly have Tatiana Suarez, but there's gonna be some interesting fights for her. Now, do I see her retaining her belts for the two fights that I think she's going to have this year? The answer is yes. I do think she's going to be champion in 2023. Carla, who has gotten so much better, I still think is going to lose just for the fact that Rose is going to be very motivated for this fight. I mean, she lost. She got ran over basically by Carla in the first fight. You don't think she want to get that back. Um, she is a completely different fighter. Even Carla is better, um, better than she was before. Rose is way better in a mental game and a physical game. And I just genuinely believe that she'll, she'll be able to ward off these takedowns and be able to pick Carla apart on the feet. And on the feet, it's still not gonna be close. Carla's gonna get to work. However, I will say, I'm not the most confident about this one because Carla very well can take her down and submit her again, or just take her down for five rounds. Um, so yeah, we shall see. Um, now, the next one we're gonna go is Valentina Shashenko. I'm extremely confident about this. I don't really think we need to talk about it too much. She's going to be champion by the end of the year. If she's not champion, it's because she retired. So, um, yeah, we can move on from that. Now, the 135 pound champ, Juliana Pena, who's going to have a rematch with Amanda Nunes. Do I see her in 2023 entering as champion? The answer will be no. I do think that Amanda Nunes will knock her out the next time they fight. However, I will say, Amanda Nunes might not be able to make that weight comfortably anymore at 135. And if that is the case, she very well can lose again. And then we'll have to, you know. And then after that, I mean, there's still interesting fights with uh, Juliana Pena, but I don't see her being a dominant champion. Even if she did get past, um, even if she got past um, uh, Amanda Nunes, I still could see her losing her next fight. And who knows who her next fight would be? I mean, that division's kind of weird. It could be Valentina Shevchenko, or it might be Holly Holm. We do not know. That division is kind of in flux. And I mean, it's kind of a who's next, who's next to sacrifice. So Juliana, you know, she, she fit the bill, she won. But like I said, I'm very confident in uh, Juliana not being champion. So yeah, that division is kind of in flux. So I'm not really, you know, it's not really a debate really when it comes to 145, unless Kayla Harrison gets signed and then she goes to 145, then we can have a conversation. But as long as Amanda Nunes is fighting at 145, she's gonna be champion this year. And that's pretty easy. Um, so now let's move on to the men. Now let's start off with 125. Figgy, we already know what's happening. It's gonna be the four fight. Um, and then even after that, there's still a lot of tough competitors at 125, even after that. Do I see Figgy retaining his belt and being champion in 2023? The answer is absolutely not. I do not see him retaining his belt. I do think that he's going to lose to Brandon Marino on his next fight. But even if he won, to be honest with you, I still see like Osbar beating him. I can also see um, someone else beating him, to be honest with you. If he doesn't make the weight well, um, you know, cardio can be an issue if he's pushed well. And then also motivation sometimes. I don't know, sometimes I don't think you could, he's, you can get the best of him, and then I think at times you'll get a lower down version of him. So I don't see him retaining his belt. 135, Peter Yawn. Yes, I 100% think he will be champion in 2023. I don't see anybody having anything for him. TJ Dillashaw, I think is going to get it finished. Um, Aljamain, he's going to get his, he's going to get work again. Uh, so yeah, I'm not, I'm very confident in that one as well. Uh, so 145, Alexander, 
I actually wanted a few people who believed that he won both fights. So I will say I am actually a very big fan and I actually believe that he's much better than people try to give him credit for. But I will say, I think he's going to lose his belt this year. Um, I think he's going to be Korean Zombie. Uh, granted, Styles make fat fight. We will see how that goes. But I just think he's a little too flat. I think Korean Zombie's too flat footed and Alexander's just going to pick him apart. Now, I do think that in the third fight, Max Holloway will beat him. Reason why is just for the simple fact that Max seemed to get better um, overall. And the first fight, that was honestly pretty easily uh, Volskanowski. The second fight was very close. And if he did not switch game plans, he was 100% losing his belt because Max was picking him apart on the feet and he was getting mad. So yeah, I, I definitely put my money on Max being the champion by the end of the year. So then we're gonna go up to 155. That one is this, that's probably the one I had the most debate with, to be honest with you, just for the simple fact that Charles Oliveira is in such a tough division. And I do believe if he defends his belt twice this year, he will be tied for most title defenses in that division of all time. Um, and is the reason why. There's just too many dogs in this one weight class. So, I mean, if he go, gets by Gaethje, and then um, if he gets by, I mean, we have to see, because Islam has a fight this week, but if he wins, he's 100% getting the title shot. If he beats both, I mean, what the heck? Realistically, if I had to guess, would I say Charles Oliver is gonna be champion by the um, end of the year? No, I don't, unless he's unless he beats Gaethje and he gets hurt, and then he's you know, obviously gonna retain his belt. But if he's fighting twice, I think he'll lose his next fight after Gaethje. Uh, so yeah, uh, and I love Charles Oliver, and if he's able to retain his belt, I will be hyped, because I'm, once again, a big fan. Now, let's go to 170. Kamara Usman. Do I think he will be champion by the end of the year? The answer is absolutely yes. Um, I think that he's going to work Leon. And then I also think he's going to probably have one more fight afterwards. I don't really know who is going to be next in this list. I mean, realistically, I did also brought up, I brought up Robert Whitaker just to play games, but I don't really think he's going to cut down again. But I don't really know uh, who's going to be next at 170. You still have Chabayas. You still have... Uh, I don't know, because he just pretty much ran a train on everybody. So realistically, yes, I do think he's going to retain his belt and he's going to be able to, you know, be champion next year. Now, Israel Adesanya, do I think he's going to be champion? Yes. The only way I don't think so is just because he wants to forfeit his belt and go to 125 and have Kamaru goes to 185 and get a belt or something of that nature. But nobody has anything at 185 for him. Jemaya want to go up. He's getting work. I'm going to save another video for that later. But Israel's going to be champion um, 2023. I don't really see that being much of a debate. Now, 205. That's I'm I'm probably one of the more confident in this when I say no. Glover is not going to keep his belt for this year. He's going to lose his next fight. Uh, Jerry is going to beat living bricks off him. And I'm very confident in saying that. I love Glover and his story, and I love the fact that he finally became champion, but that's going to end really, really soon. Um, now, heavyweight champion. I'm the heavyweight champion, Francis Ngannou is the one that I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with because I can see both. I can see him losing his next fight. I can also see him absolutely obliterating whoever the hell he fights that, whether it's John Joe, Steve Bay, or whoever the heck you want to put him against. Um, but I'm actually going to ride with Francis Ngannou will be champion. Actually, he's probably going to be champion anyways because he's going to be out for a while for a torn knee. But if he does fight at the end of the year, it's going to be either John Jones or Steve Bay. If he fights Stipe, 100%, I think he's going to retain his belt and he's going to be champion next year. If he fights John Jones or Gone again for some odd reason, have to fight Gone again. If he fights John Jones, I'm going to say he's going to retain his belt. If he fights Gone again, I will say Gone is going to be champion. So I'm very, I'm 50-50 I'm on this. This is very tough. I can see it going either way, but I'm going to rock with, I guess in totality, that Francis Ngannou will be champion next year. I'm not the most confident in that though. I can very well see somebody else winning the belt. Heavyweight division is just like 155. It turns very, very easily because punching power, you get punched once you sleep, it's over. So yeah, that's basically how I feel about these champions uh, in the UFC. I honestly want to also do the other organizations more so Bellator, not the other ones, uh, and also say who I think is going to be champion there next. But I want to hear what you guys think. Who do you think is going to retain their belts next year via not like actually competing, not because of injury? And then we have interim champs. Um, so, but as always, comment below, subscribe and like and all that good stuff. Thank you guys for watching. This is Showtime Fight Forum where we talk all things fights. Be blessed.